um, founders, pioneers of reality rap that eventually was coined gangster rap. What are your thoughts on drill music? Are you familiar with the drill scene where these kids are going back and forth and there's guns involved and there's just uh, trash talking to an ultimate level where they're literally peeing on grave sites of their rival rapper friends and they're they're going, they're just doing really, are, are, are you keeping up with that side of hip hop today? Not at all. Mm. I don't know. What is that? Good. Stay away from me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why yeah. Cass is dying. You, in you Chicago, talk about these like, young like cats flies. that's dying out mm-hmm. here over music. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's it right there. Yeah. Nah, I don't And pay then no when attention. one dies, yeah, well, one dies, they make a song dissing the dead person, and then they make a song dissing them, and it, it's it's just back and forth. Yeah. Who gave them cats money? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do how, how are they able? Hold well, on, you know, it's the, a new not... it's a new thing. You can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? You get your get your own platform and, and do what you want. That you know, it wasn't we couldn't do that back in the day. You nah. know what I'm saying? We, it's 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 a different time, you know. It's a different world from where we come from, Doc. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different world. Man, man. Well, I got another question then. Uh shit, let's keep let's keep it pushing because I'm uh, really enjoying this. Um did you ever meet Suge Knight and and what were your remembrances of uh, hanging around Shit Yeah, Nights? I mean, come on, man. I mean, <laughs> running around Compton, you, you know. Yeah, you know. I, so we were all good friends, you know what I'm saying? Suge, Suge was a good cat, man. That uh, He put, you know, he put something together that was that was incredible, man. And it, it was a shame that he, he he and he squandered it and lost it all. But it, it you know it was it was the money that did it. It was you know he didn't know you know it, it was a sad situation. But Suge was cool, you know. Suge, one thing about Suge, he knew who to mess with and who not to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all, you know. And. I just hate the hated the way that things turned out. He had it all, you know what I'm saying? Hated it all, dude. Had, it, had all. it all. Gave it all and and lost everything else. That's that's that, that right there, dude. Is something that always bothered me. And I see some of the same trends with some of these youngsters today. It's like you get blessed with a fortune, and you trying to find how many ways you can fuck it off before noon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, didn't make, kind of money. Yeah. We make the kind of money, and you know, you, you see guys want to f- do all this stupid shit with money, and at some point, some of them, not all of them, right? Some of them um, end up broke, or you realize they don't have the money. They, you know, they don't, they don't have the money they claim to have, and right. it's really disturbing, man, to see folks even have a shot like that, and just you know, want to do dumb shit like put diamonds in their forehead and shit. Like, what the fuck? Oh. What the yeah, fuck? man. <laughs> Lord, ever, it's a different world, man. It's a different world. I can't knock it. You know, yeah, I'm just not you, getting um, face tats. Yeah, don't. Yeah, good call, dude. That's my boy. Uh, Steve said everybody's face looking like etch a sketch now, dude. That's yeah. that's so true, man. Dude, yeah. I remember the last place you would the, the last place you would put a tattoo would be your face and your neck. Okay, yeah. you. I, I remember the first time I saw somebody had a. Uh, Tattoo across their chest. It said, "Cut, uh, cut a long line." Okay, some shit like that. I was the first time. It was a long time ago. When I was a kid. I thought that. Yeah. Was, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> cut, you know, here's just have a simple tattoo to cut yeah. a long line. Okay, and it's you know just as, as a reference to you know how how they did boxes back in the day. Yeah. But now, like jewelry and cars and everything else, folks overdose shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean all the yeah. shit we did, like, all the Jerry curls I had, all the <laughs> hairstyles I had. Guess what? You can't tell I, I ain't got no hair now, but it had no right. effect on my overall life. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you look at the damn uh, senior sister home in about twenty years, and all them puppy paws start looking like goddamn bats and shit. <laughs> They're gonna be oh fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a different world, man. You know, we we you know. What can I say? Hey, Maybe man. we can uh, wrap it up with this question, unless Lonzo has anything else. But um, King T, you've worked with some of the greatest. You've been in this, you know, game for you know decades. If you could take one person to battle with, because that's another thing. King T was always, even though he was West Coast, 
he was still like a, a you always had lyrics you were always bars you always cared like you were always a rap so you're a rapper's rapper that's the best way to put it if you could take anybody to battle with you to go up against two other cats from the west coast any of one person from the west coast it doesn't matter what decade what it went who would king t take as their partner to go into battle oh wow uh that's a good question it would have to be, I would have to, come on now, I would have to take uh, Kendrick. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. That's, see, it'd be Kendrick or Corrupt or, man, oh, I mean, yeah. that's, that's so, hard. On, that's hard. Corrupt is a beast, you know what I'm saying? Both of them, you know. Okay. <laughs> hey, what, where'd you go to school at, King T? Uh, I went to uh, uh, Monroe and Morningside. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, Inglewood. My dad lived in Inglewood. I got kicked out of uh, L.A. school district, so I had to move with my dad in Inglewood and uh, go to uh, Monroe and then went to Morningside. I didn't graduate, though. Okay. <laughs> That's a good thing. Man, yeah. we ain't going to hold you, Doc. Man, I thank you for uh, tackling me last night and tell me you want to do the show. Appreciate man. you. No man, doubt. Love, Doc. Thanks. Always, man. Always. Anytime you got something you want to share with us, you got. Yeah. I got your number. You got mine. Ain't no doubt. Stuff, dude, let's make it happen. No doubt. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, Doc. Thank you, KT. All right. Legend. That's how we do it. Woo. Lonzo, Lonzo, man. This, this is a, this is a dream to me, dude. Thank you for for including me in this, bro. That's dope, dude. That's really dope. Shit, man. Um, you want to jump into something really quick? Uh, since we got about we got ten more minutes, we got. Let's 10 jump minutes. to the niggerverse. Let's jump to the niggerverse, man. I'm sure you've heard this story. Uh, rapper Boosie. Boosie Badass, popular rapper from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was recently arrested uh, in San Diego. He came out to San Diego, recorded a music video with a certain gang. And during the recording of the music video, someone who was recording them record caught glimpse of Boosie having a uh, pistol tucked into his back pocket. Now, Boosie is a registered felon who in no way, shape, or form can carry a pistol, let alone in California, a state he is not from. So that being said, uh, Boosie went to court, thought everything was cool, walked out, and allegedly was arrested on the spot. Um, He's selling off cars. He's uh, sending apologies to his kids. This is an older cat, too, Lonzo. He's probably 33, 34, 35, which is old in the niggaverse. Talk to me, dog. Well, Doc... You know, sometimes in your hometown, you can get love. But in California, a felon with a gun, uh, like that pilot told me one time when I asked him if uh, he had a heart attack, what would he, what could I do? He said, all you could do is stand up, unbuckle your seatbelt, stand up, and kiss your ass goodbye. Okay. Unbuckle your seatbelt, stand up, and kiss your ass goodbye.